Welcome everyone, we are back. It is another week seven matchup. Uh, one of our last of the week, we still have Joey Suba versus Alex Warden, but that match will be coming to you soon once our good friend Alex Warden heals up and gets better. He's currently in the hospital, but he will be out soon because he is going to get through everything and he'll heal up. And then he will be back here in the clash and we will catch up on everything. But we will be moving on in the tournament and we will be going back to those later. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll see you soon, Alex. But guys, today we have my best friend, Din Simmons, taking on Noah Foster, the simple man of wrestling. And in a, a great match here in week seven, uh, Jim, you're, you're, the way the schedule works right now, you're going to be playing Noah and Paul Mead in back-to-back -back days. This is, uh, yeah, this is the, the dreaded, uh, the triangle for me, but <laughs> my, my established brand is that I, I break people, so, well, I hope I do it to Noah, even though we're all here for fun, and I like that he said we're here for fun, I'm here for fun, but Noah, uh, is Paul's best friend, and, mm -hmm. uh, I like to be best friends with champions, so... I may be gunning for a spot, so we'll see. I don't know, uh, but I'm your best friend, Cass, so that's of all course, that matters. Of course, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And but of course, I'm excited to have fun. Noah said it. That's what this is all about, and uh, get ready to And go. of course, you as well are coming off of two of the best trivia performances of your probably entire trivia career, as you won both sports movie trivia and uh, Paul Needs hosted NWO trivia as well. You won both of those. Check out a Wrestling With Trivia and a Showboat Trivia by our good friend Jordan Owens on his channels. They are great and a fun time. But Noah, you come into this block, uh, you were the second in uh, the block going into this week. Uh, others have played, this is the ma last match, so the standings don't show it, but you are closer than it looks, and you need to catch up to your good friend Paul Mead. But Noah, how are you doing tonight? Well, as always, I go in here with zero preparation and limitless expectations. I'm doing very well. I look forward to wagering my knowledge against a great challenger. And all I can say is I will do my best. Again, Paul, I introduced him to this world. He suggested bringing me in. And for my first time diving in, it, I respect that idea that I'm a vertice on a triangle of trivia excellence that I never considered myself to be. So... With that being said, Chris, I'm ready to go. Let's get right into it. It's nice to meet you, Dan, and good luck. All right. Well, guys, before we get started, you know what time it is. It's time. Who is going to win this match? Bet your loonies now. Will it be Dim? Will it be Noah? Or will it be a tie? So, guys, get those loony bets in as we start this match with round number one. And as you know, round number one works like this. Four questions worth one point each. Two questions each based on first round strengths given by both combatants. One final question with four possible answers in a random category will be asked with one point for a correct answer. Eight total points available. And we'll be starting with... What's this? Bet on him. Ah, I see how it is. Uh, Dim, what? Dim already down. <laughs> Dim already down himself. But guys, we are going to start with Noah's strengths, and they come in the category of NXT UK. And your first question is... How many NXT TakeOver UK events have happened? NXT TakeOver UK events. NXT, NXT TakeOver UK, UK TakeOver, basically. Yeah, so... what he's referring to. So, like, the NXT UK... I guess it'd be, yeah, NXT UK TakeOver. So, like... Yeah, the ones, it's TakeOver blank. Those ones. Um, yeah. Yeah, but don't... Okay, don't count the one that was part of the regular NXT lineage. Just the ones for the NXT UK brand. Right, they were NXT UK TakeOver, not NXT TakeOver. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah, get you. Yeah. Yeah, so don't don't count like that one that was in London that had like Finn Balor as the chainsaw guy. <laughs> chainsaw guy? <laughs> I don't even know what he's talking about. Uh, wait, Finisher. Who's that? All right, looks like you're both in. Dim, what do you got? Three. And Noah. Yeah, it was supposed to be four, but due to the pandemic, we never got XT UK TakeOver Dublin. It was Blackpool, Cardiff, and Blackpool 2. I said three as well. Awesome. Yes, the correct answer is three. 
I never thought until I actually read the question. I was like, wait, there was takeovers in the UK. Shit, never mind. I had to explain this. Uh, welcome to the chat, Steve. Um, if there was anyone to chat it, I, there was someone that chatted before Steve. I can't see it because of the current uh, the current betting. But uh, if you're here, thank you for being here. Um, but we are going to move on to question number two in NXT UK. And your question is... In the triple threat for the NXT UK Tag Team Championships at TakeOver Cardiff, which team did not walk in or out as champion? Ooh. So it was a triple threat uh, tag team match. Uh, there was champions walking in. They lost them to the winners. But who is the other team that did not walk in or out as champion? Which been the bad? The headphones like to disconnect, I think, after like two hours. So. That's weird. Yeah. It's probably just so, like, they could just shut off so I don't, like, uh, I don't know. keep them on forever. Anyway, mm -hmm. it looks like you guys are both in. Noah, what do you got? They eventually got on top, but they didn't come on top that night. It was the Gallus boys. And Noah, or Dim, sorry. Dim. Uh, I called Gallus one that night. I said Imperium. Yes, it is. It is Gallus. So Noah will get that point as we move on to your next question. That comes in the category of Dim's strength, and Dim's strength is WWF Hasbro action figures. <laughs> Noah's face is just like, wait, what? Interesting. Yes, so guys... You never watch any of my matches, Noah? Hold on. <laughs> I, I don't... I, I'll talk more about that afterwards. Chris already knows what I'm about 80% of my life. Yeah. And your question... Working. Who is one of the two teams that were released in the two packs to never win the WWF Tag Team Championships? So there's two options here. The WWF Hasbro's... Um... That's a doozy. Didn't win. Yeah, there's uh, two teams that were released in two packs that never won tag team titles. <laughs> okay. Has, the Hasbro line of action figures, you know, they were good little toys. This is tough because, like, I really think during the new generation, everyone won the tag team championships. <laughs> I know, <laughs> right? Ah. <laughs> uh, I. I uh, I have a question. Yeah. Do Phantom Reigns count? No. It has to be official. And, that's a brain. D uh, like, wait. brains that kind of happened, but then just never existed. It has you to be an official. About, that, yeah, it has to be an officially recognized brain. So I need the teams that never won. So if they did have a Phantom Reign uh, that never counted, that would be a correct answer. Hmm. That's... Uh, I don't think... I am... Uh, eh. Right down to team, Noah. You gotta, you, gotta, you gotta get a good chance. You know, there's two teams I that mean, are possible. You know, it, again, it is what it is. It is <laughs> what it is. Uh, Dim, what do you got? Uh, I said the Rockers. And Noah. I said God, I said Booker T. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a that, that's way off of that one. Yeah, the Hasbros were in like the early, early 90s. Oh, okay, I wouldn't yeah. know. Not only did I never get an action figure, again, I was born in 1992. That is whoop. <laughs> um, the correct answers are the Rockers and the Bushwhackers. Oh, those were both the answers I had. Nice. Oh, Bushwhackers. Nice. I didn't the know that Bushwhackers. I don't know. But guys, we'll be moving on to your next question, and that is... Who is the only wrestler in the final series of WWF Hasbro's to be the Intercontinental Champion? Final series. WWF Hasbro. Ah. Another one you might have to take a stab at it, Noah. This just shot in the dark. Yeah. 
that, 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 that's fair. That's fair. Oh. Fine, I'll. Um, Take a second. Mm. Joey Soup is in the chat. Welcome, Joey. I always like to know the guesses on the Hasbros. Sorry, no, the reason I have this is because I assume other people don't know it. So that's why I have it. <laughs> that's brilliant. That's that's unique. And I, again, I'm all about exploring new challenges. This certainly is one for me. Yeah, uh, Joey does have an answer in the chat. But Noah, what do you have for an answer? So, thinking about WWF, I at first said Ultimate War, but I'm thinking, no, that's, that, that's too obvious. Maybe that's too late. So I went back a little further. I said Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect. And Dim. It's a Billy Gunn. It is indeed Billy Gunn. Uh, ah. At the, the Hasbro was released in the Smoking Guns, where he teamed with Bart, but Billy Gunn did win the Intercontinental title in the year 2000. We move on to your four-point question. And your four-point question comes to the category of Ring of Honor. And your question is... Which four wrestlers have the longest single reigns with the ROH Championship? Longest single reign? Ooh. Yep, so like not combined, just a, a single reign, the four longest single reigns. This is tricky because of what happened recently, too. Mm. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, da, da, da. Just take a shot in the gun. Oh, freaking tape. I just gotta go with names like. some time to think about this one. Hmm. Four wrestlers, the longest. Longest. There's been 37 Ring of Honor champions. Oh, boy. That's impressive. Uh, didn't know that. Thank you, Amber Cabani. <laughs> uh. Huh. I'm gonna watch out this one. Eh. Nope, don't second guess it. Just see what happens. Just let it ride. See what happens. <laughs> All right, you're you're good, Noah. Uh, yep. All right, Dim. What do you have? All right, so I have Brian Danielson, Jonathan Gresham, Nigel McGuinness, and Samoa Joe. So I think and, Enoch Kabani said he was one of the longest runners. And Noah, what do you have? I almost put down CM Punk, but I didn't. I actually have some of the answers he has, which makes me feel a little bad about myself. <laughs> I had Jay Lethal, Brian Danielson, Samoa Joe, and Nigel McGuinness. All right. So your correct answers are Samoa Joe, Nigel McGuinness, Brian Danielson, and Roosh. So, oh, Roosh! Roosh. I should have thought so, that was going to yeah. hit me. So Damn it! You both that got. The... Yeah, that's the one you guys I missed. Split Jonathan Gresham and Roosh. Yeah, so you both got three, giving us a score of six to five as we head into round number two. Six to five. Round number two. Round number two works like this four questions worth one point each. Each combatant will answer their own four questions based on the strength given for four total points available. So we're going to start with you. Noah, and your category is, is AEW. And your first question, Noah. Who challenged for the AEW World Championship at the first Winter is Coming event? Oh, the first one. Oh, 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 uh, wait. Pandemic. That had to be, right? That had to be. It only makes sense. Challenge. Challenge for it. Okay, I, I, it's 2022, not 2020. I, I, okay, I think it was 2020, and it, ha it had to be the whole start of the whole Forbidden Door. Who challenged for it? It was uh, Kenny by God Omega against John Moxley. 
Yes, indeed. That is correct at our favorite event, Ric Flair. But moving <laughs> on to your next question, Noah. Who is the only wrestler from the first Casino Battle Royal to have competed regularly in WCW? Nothing. So, at uh -huh. so double or nothing 2019. This is a great question. Competed regularly, though, is what's throwing me off. There's only one thing I could pick up from that. I have to say Glacier. Glacier is the correct answer. I guess you <laughs> could say that that was a precursor from the last question. Winter is coming. Glacier, get it? Oh! That's clever. That's clever. <laughs> thank you, I thank you. I didn't put it in the like that. I just fought WCW name at AEW. Glacier was the yep. very first. And your next first. question. Which other promotion's championship was defended on the pre-show of Full Gear 2020, in which was the only pre-show match for that pay-per-view? Pre-show Full Gear 2000. I just need the other promotion. There was another promotion's title. Which promotion was that? Oh, it was the National Wrestling Alliance. Serena D. That is correct. And your final question, Noah. Which move did Cody Rhodes use to defeat Ethan Page and retain the TNT Championship at New Year's Smash 2021? Ooh. Retain. Which move he used to defeat Ethan Page with? Oh, man. That had to be something unique. Um... <clears throat> What move did Cody Rose use to defeat Ethan Page to retain Ethan Page? I remember Ethan Page challenging for the tank title because that's how little he's actually been involved on television. Ah, oh, crap. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Cody won the title. Cody Rose coming down to. Oh. He's facing Ethan Page. Streaming. That's wrong, yeah. Oh, jeez. The... Which move did Cody Rose use to defeat Ethan Page to beat him? Uh, <laughs> uh, figure four leg lock. That is incorrect. We were looking for he used the Tiger Driver ninety eight or is a ah! double a double underhook pile driver. I almost I almost thought I was like well, maybe it was it was either submission or Tiger. I knew it wasn't Crossroads. Yeah, yeah. It's something like this, you know. I'm not always going to ask the most obvious thing, right? That's but, why I didn't go there. Yep, yeah, so and you I was three. wondering when he introduced the Tiger Driver. Duck on it. And so you have three points there, bringing you up to eight, as now we move on to Dim, and Dim, your strengths are in the category of WrestleMania main events. And your first question is, what was the first WrestleMania to have two separate main events on two separate nights? Thirty-six. That is correct. In front of the world's biggest indoor fan. <laughs> oh, I re they released as a t-shirt. It was That's terrible. That's so stupid. And your next question. Who was the first person to win a Royal Rumble and challenge for the WWF Championship in the main event of that same year's WrestleMania? So they won the Royal Rumble and they were the challenger for the title in the main event in the same year. Does this, is this like they were automatically guaranteed that? Nope. It was just they won the Rumble in the same year that they challenged for the title. It doesn't necessarily have to guarantee. Wait. Give me a second. Um, so. No, you're fine, because trust me, I'm already thinking about that myself. <laughs> yeah. So, they had to be the there's chapel. an answer for the first one to like. Where it was yeah, the win is official. I just need to know the first person to win a Rumble in the same year that they challenge at me. Okay. I'm Not necessarily sure. it had to give them the title shot. They just had to be the challenger and win the Rumble. Let me just uh, think of dates. Uh... 16 or 2000. Six or 2000. Hulk Hogan. That is correct. At WrestleMania 7, he was the challenger against Sergeant Slaughter, and he also won the 1991 Royal Rumble. And if you want to see my work, it's very. Uh, it's just not. But you, is, this, is a, this is a great six. You don't need to show your work, Tim. We're good. And moving on, your question. Which former Intercontinental Champion was the special referee for the main event of WrestleMania 11? Pat Patterson. Pat Patterson is the correct answer. We move on to your final question. 
before Batista hit his final Batista bomb to defeat Triple H at WrestleMania 21, he reversed the pedigree into which move? Uh, like a, it's like a backdrop, like he flipped him over. Is that your final answer? Uh, read this field, <laughs> All right. I don't know, because sometimes I don't know if you're talking out loud or if that's an actual answer. Yeah, give me a second. Um... Coming up soon, the battle's over. I think I skipped this one when I was rewatching because I don't like Triple H. But <laughs> uh, so you're missing, they're skipping a lot of WrestleMania main events in the 2000s then. By the way, he dominated that decade. <laughs> uh, let's go with a spine buster. That is incorrect. I don't know the actual name for it, but it's uh, like Seamus' white noise. Uh, Emerald Plosion, maybe, might be called, but you know that move that he does where he, yeah, he it's fl like, flips him up on his back, like a, grabs his head, and falls slam. backwards. Yeah. Okay. Sidewalk slam, Couture around well, the Well, even if I had said he like flips him over him, it wouldn't have worked. Yeah, no. if that body drop, yeah. it's not the same thing as that. Yeah. No. So we were looking for, yeah. Well, I just kept it simple and said the white noise, but if you had explained it, I would have also accepted it. But yeah, white noise is the correct answer. As we move on to the battle zone with a score of 9 to 8 for Dim. Close game going into the battle zone. One point for a correct answer. One question with at least 10 possible answers will be asked. Each combatant will take turns answering until they each have five guesses. Five total points available per combatant. So if you guys are ready, we are going to start with Noah. And your question today comes in the category of Impact Wrestling. Oh, my <laughs> And your question, starting with Noah. Who are the first 10 wrestlers to be the defending champion going into a TNA slash Impact Slammiversary event? Start with you, Noah. The first 10 to defend the title. Ooh. 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 Uh, damn. <clears throat> first 10 to come in to defend the title. Ha, ha, ha. Ah, the, I'm just going to go with, based on history of the greats I know, I'm going to say Kurt Angle. Okay. And Dim? Uh, I'll go to Jeff Jarrett. Oh, no, hold on a second. One second. Oh. One second. One second. One second. One second. I meant to put X Division. Did you guys want to start over? I have the answers for X Division. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I meant to put X. I messed that up. That's a my bad. We'll start over. Round starting over. We have a. Fuck. Yeah, it's. I did botch the hell out of that. Do you want to do it with this? Because I, I have a list going. Um. I think yeah. it'll be better than my X division. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's do that. Just let me bring up the uh, the event, and then we will uh, we will do it like that. One second, because I would. Because when you said Jeff Jarrett, I was like, wait a minute. Because Kurt Angle was at least X Division champion, so I was kind of like, what? Yeah, he was also world champion, too. Yeah. Um, I think it covers both those categories. <laughs> okay. Just give me one second here. No problem. The original Man. question was asked, uh, it was actually created by our friend Andrew the Dude Hayes. That's a bad question. Dude, <laughs> I don't like it. So hopefully there's an ad break going on right now. That'd be perfect. <laughs> if not, uh, Noah, any any plans for the week? You said you work all the time. I get it. Uh, not really. My life is pretty simple and unexciting. Outside of work, I watch uh, wrestling and take care of my family. It's as simple as that. Nice. And um, as uh, you know, Seth Rollins usually tweets every Sunday. You hate football. Well, yeah. yeah. Now we know why Seth Rollins tweets that every week. Uh, all right, almost done, guys. Oh, you're fine. Really? 
Okay. Technology can be a mother blugger. <laughs> right, and it's like that one word made that a completely different question. <laughs> did, did. Although, to be fair, there were several X Division champions that did go on, or at some point were also the world champ, so kind True. of those two questions can coexist, but I feel like the time span is where things slightly differ. <clears throat> True. True. Think about Summer Birthday, how many of those have been? There have been uh, a lot. Yeah. Not since the inauguration. Wait. Actually, no. That would well, be since it, the inauguration. Because Summer's it, it, been there since the beginning. Copper Glory was introduced late. Uh, Slammiversary happened first. Before. That's what I thought. Yeah. 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 But it's <clears> weird <throat> because, like, this year they counted it as Slammiversary, like, 20. But it's really only, like, Slammiversary 16. Because they didn't start them until 2005. Yeah. But they put the 20 on the end because they're celebrating the 20th year of this company's history, now known as Impact Wrestling. True. Just, just up in there. <clears throat> okay, so we have our 10 answers on my thing. You guys have Kurt Angle, you have Jared. Now we are back to Noah. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, X Division, X Division. No, this is this is not X Division anymore. Yeah, so we are oh. doing the world title. Who is the world oh, champion? Oh, 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 okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. And this I, is this counts, sure this counts the TNA or the um, NWA title. Okay, the world, I, I, the, I, I, yeah, I the world it. champion I, I, in TNA going into Slam Got, got it, got it. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of get it now. Slam anniversary. <laughs> Facebook Messenger is being uh, very proactive. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Are you good? Okay, so we're talking about Impact TNA World Champions that defended the title at Slammiversary. Yes, they were the champion going into the event. Okay. And you've already had Angle, and then he has Jarrett. Sure. Slammiversary, 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 Slammiversary. I'm trying to do the math in my head. I think this is within the range. I might be slightly out of it, but it was such an era, such a but better off for Gotham, although it was also, ah, but bully right. And a dim. AJ Styles? Noah. Bobby Roode. Dim. Bobby Lashley? Noah. Jeff Hardy? Jim. Sting? Noah, your final one. Ah, jeez. Ah. Anniversary. Where does the... Probably three, four. Uh, uh. World champion, world champion, world champion, world champion, world champion, world champion, world champion. We're uh, champion. All the greats, all the greats, all the greats. Can't think of the name. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Uh, just trying to think who literally led this company. Why they were champion outside of the legacy wing basically it's anniversary though that's the thing that's the big show that's the big show ah crap is, is that an answer no i'm kidding <laughs> the heck no <laughs> that'd be a, that'd be ridiculous uh okay um mm. ethan carter the third and Dim finishes off. I'm stuck between two. Um, I'll go with that one. Uh, no, no. Um, Samoa Joe. Yeah. Oh, forgot about this man. That was oh, right. <clears throat> so your correct answers are in order: AJ Styles, Christian Cage, Samoa Joe. Mick, oh. Mick Foley, 
Rob Bobby. Van Rob Van Dam, Sting, Bobby Roode, Bully Ray, Eric Young, and Drew Galloway. Drew Galloway! Ah. So uh Dim, you got three. Noah, you got two. Twelve to ten as we head into the final round for Dim. So guys, as you all know, the final round is great as we go into it. Just know, Noah, my Cap is usually 13, so you only need to really get one, and you probably have the one. <laughs> See what happens, hey guys, my friend. The final round works like this. Each combatant will pick three numbers. Starting with the lowest score, they'll be assigned three questions based on the number they've chosen. The combatant with the least amount of points will start the round until they take the lead. There is no knockouts, and the game will continue until all questions are asked, even if a winner is declared. No overtime. Three points for a correct answer, two bonus points for the victory, and there's a two-point differential, so there will not be a tie today. So, Noah, I need three numbers between 1 and 20. Here we go, folks. Buckle up. Uh, <laughs> I, this time I will go with Lee. 7, 18, and 11. Okay, and Dim. 6, 9, 12. Back up. All right, so, Noah, you chose number 7. And number seven is NXT. Okay. And your question, Noah. Which NXT special episode in 2022 featured two teams of the Diamond Mind going head to head for the NXT Tag Team Championships? <clears throat> Damn it! Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, JJ, curse your NXT. <laughs> that was recent too. Crap! Two teams of Diamond Mine going head to head. Probably that had to be Roderick Strong and Damon Kemp versus the Creed Brothers. Ah! Uh... The only special I could think of that they did at one point was NXT Heat Wave. That you did have the match correct, but you unfortunately did not have the episode. This occurred at NXT The Great American Bash. Ah! Yeah, so you did have the match right, though, so good job there. But we're going to move on to your second question, Noah. You chose number 18, and that corresponds to first match. Mm -hmm. Your question is... Mankind made his WWF debut the day after WrestleMania 12 on Raw when he defeated what future multi-time hardcore champion? Oh boy. Uh, hardcore champion though is the thing there. And Mankind is multiple times. That thing was freaking flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be like anyone. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, gosh. And that kind of all people rest around with this guy. Uh, I'm gonna go with. Multiple time. Multiple time. Multiple time. Are they multiple time? Yes. Sometimes, right? It's one of two. Here we go. But Walking Weapon Steve Blackman? Is it Bob Holly? It is Sparky Plug, Bob Holly, also known as Hardcore Holly. Yeah, Steve yeah. Blackman um, is an incorrect. So, Noah, we will move on to your final question. <laughs> it was Noah, him or hardcore you chose either. number 11, and that corresponds to AEW. Okay. And, Noah, your question is. Who did Orange Cassidy lose to in his first singles match in AEW at Revolution 2020? I love that pay-per-view and that match so damn much. It was the boss attack. That is correct, bringing you up to 13, as now you sit and wait for Dim to ask his questions. And Dim, your first question is number six. And it comes in the category of Wrestle Crap. I don't know. And your question is. Wrestle crap? Wrestle crap. Your question is. 
At which year Survivor Series did the gobbledygooker debut? Good game, Noah. Uh, 1990. Yeah. 1990, the same year as The Undertaker. That is correct. So, Dim, you will win this match. Currently with a score of 15 to 13, but you have two questions remaining. And your Hopefully second go, question is number nine, and it comes in the category of Lucha Libre. Ooh. And your question, Dim. Which Attitude Era wrestler won the CMLL World Heavyweight Championship in 1997 under the name Steel? Question. Yes. WWF Attitude Era? Is there another one? Okay. Like, not a WCW wrestler. No, no, no. They, they were in the I WWF did... during the Attitude Era, yeah. Okay. Um... Yep. Okay, I am drawing blank, 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 but we will, I'm going to try to pull a Noah and talk my way through it and try to figure <laughs> out if I can come up with an answer, because um, that seems to be effective for him. Who could it be? Who was even there? Who was even there? Ah. Uh. Okay, so they would have come into WWF later. Um, now, do you realize, though, or, uh, Dan, if you get this wrong, you will never be allowed to Mexico again. What? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be kicked out of Mexico permanently. Damn. That's a hot take. Um, now, could they all fall? No. Sorry. Sorry, I'm really just going through my head like crazy, and nothing is coming up. Well, hell, Mary, proud name, my friend. Yes, indeed. I, I will. I'm waiting for the clock. You mean this clock? Uh, no. Oh, got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. Um... Was it and Terry Funk? That is incorrect. We were looking for Val Venus. What? Val what? Venus, yes. Val Venus. He no wrestled in, yeah, before he uh, wrestled WWF, he was Canadian. He went down to Mexico and he's a former CMLL World of UA champion. Well, I'll be there. Yep. I never would have done that. And I never do that. Learn something new every day. And your yeah. final question, Dim, comes in the category number 12, and you chose women's wrestling. Respect. And Dim, your question is, what was the only championship to change hands at the Evolution pay-per-view event? Was it the SmackDown Women's Championship? That is incorrect. It was the NXT Women's Championship. I believe all the women's championships were on the line of this event, but that was the only one to change hands. when. Uh, and Shanna Baszler and company uh, pushed herself, I believe, to victory. Yeah, it was over, I believe, Kyrie Sane when she won the title back to become yep. uh, Shayna Two-Time or whatever she called herself. Shayna, Shayna Two-Time, yeah. Yes. So, for the final score of 15 to 13, Dim, you're going to pick up the win this week over Noah. Adding two bonus points to that, giving you 17 on the week. And Dim, how are you feeling after this match today and learning that Val Venus is a CMML World Heavyweight Champion? Honestly, that's the craziest thing. But, like, if you talk to me throughout the clash, everyone says, oh, it's all about the points you score. And for me, it's all about the wins. And I'm just trying to get heads. And Noah's a great competitor. So now I have, I have his head. I, I've, I've beaten Noah, so I'm just impressed with myself. I, it's a uh, lot of big wins. Uh, CWT does not condone decapitation. We do not condone, <laughs> condone that. Please do not cut off people's heads and put them on stakes at your throat. Metaphorically speaking. Metaphorically yes. speaking, yes. I, it's just I'm surprised. Uh, I didn't think I would win this match, but I'm happy I did. And 17 points is, like, really good for me. So I keep improving and... Uh, yeah, four wins in the class so far. I'm, I'm pretty psyched. 
Yeah, like I said, the clash continues to make no sense. And <laughs> when people, different people are beating different people, and it just makes no sense at all, which means CWT is now anyone's game. Because <laughs> I'm not playing. But either way, uh, Noah, you still pick up 13 points in the loss, but how are you feeling after this match? Again, I did my best, and it was a great affair. It came down towards the end. Uh, Damn, there was a couple. Again, the worst thing that you could do is second guess yourself. Between the uh, impact and the Ring of Honor champion and the Cody move, I felt that was definitely my uh, intangibles and my uh, overall my bad moment, but things happen. And either way, it's kind of been for my first time kind of a Peter Carter effect. There's been a win, there's been a loss, there's been a win, there's been a loss. So if nothing else, I guess you could say I'm consistent. And uh, overall, this was fun. I'm looking forward to the next match. And next time we'll be back face together again. Yes, indeed. And Noah, next week, um, we'll have to talk over some things in the chats because I'm going on vacation this weekend for four days and then I'm coming back nice. for one day and then my work is sending me away for a week. So I'm just kind of like, crap. So I'm going to be like, starting Thursday, I'm going to be sleeping in my own bed once over like a 10 day period. But yes, Good. it'll be super fun. So right. um, we'll stay tuned with that. But yes, you'll be taking on Sean Redmond, our good friend from England, in a uh, all NXT UK first round because that's both your first round strengths. Hey! Uh, but and Dim, as we know, tomorrow night you'll be taking on Noah's best friend Paul Mead. And will you be, as you said, the bracket buster once again? Looking um, for another scalp. Oh. <laughs> Once again, we do not condone that. Metaphorically <laughs> speaking. Yes. Metaphorically yes. speaking. Yes. Damn good luck against Paul. Again, he is the one that I introduced to this world. He just encouraged me to accompany him. Yeah. So, Paul Mead is, uh, you know, real, doing a real good job for himself. But guys, thank you for being here. Thank you to uh, Steve and Joey for being in the chat. We will see you all tomorrow night for uh, Dim and Paul, as well as... Um, Dwayne Ackerson taking on Nico Rigoli. Those two matches will happen tomorrow night, as far as I know, and we will see the rest of the schedule later. We'll get to Joey and Alex at some point in the future. But thank you all for being here. Stay tuned for your standings updates. Have a great night.